Hello and welcome to Impera Project, a project built on a dream. We understand, mathematics can be pretty difficult, and most of the time not fun at all. But there are moments when mathematics can be truly interesting and bring forth a lot of insight into the inner workings of the world. Many general truths about our reality have been discovered and expressed and explained through mathematical relationships. And many philosophers, ever since the days of ancient Greece, have been constantly discovering new things using mathematics. In simple terms, we can safely assume that every single event that happens every day around us or with us, every single event corresponds to a mathematical equation. And many understood it. If you want to see the world in a more realistic and cold way, you can admit that. You can attribute a mathematical equation to fate itself and to everything around you. Flowers bloom because they are programmed to do so. The earth revolves around the sun because it is programmed to do so. Immanuel Kant has this opinion, that everything in the universe follows a certain law. Everything happens because it was artificially programmed to do so. They all follow a certain algorithm which the human being cannot understand. But among modern philosophers, there is one who stands out as being completely in love with mathematics and that is Bertrand Russell, the author of The Conquest of Happiness, a beautiful book which we lovely recommend as a lecture. But before we start this video, we would appreciate it if you'd press that subscribe button so we know you enjoy our content. This channel has not seen any major growth since its beginning, and we are a bit worried. Today, we want to talk about one of the most interesting discoveries in the field of mathematics, which belongs to Bertrand Russell. A discovery so amazing that even today has his name, Russell's Paradox. Russell's Paradox has two main forms, one which is a funny little story, and of course a mathematical formal form. We will present you both. So, imagine you are a barber in a town, the air is nice, people are nice, and you love your job. But one day the mayor comes and asks you. Starting from today, you have to shave only people who cannot shave themselves. You reluctantly agree. But after a few moments of thinking, you realize one thing. If I can shave only people who cannot shave themselves, who shaves me? So, if you shave yourself, you are breaking the terms, because you can only shave people who cannot shave themselves. But if you don't shave yourself, You have to shave yourself, because you must shave people who can't shave themselves. And again, you are breaking the rules. This little story actually serves a greater purpose. It actually serves to prove that one thing cannot contain itself. In mathematical rules, one set cannot contain itself. So there is not a set of all the sets, because it will have to contain itself as well. So, if we consider a set called R for Russell, named the set of all the sets, there are two things that can happen. R belongs in R, which is false, because a set cannot contain itself. And R does not belong in R, which is also false, because in R belong all the sets that exist. Paradoxal. So the concept of a set of all sets is impossible, given the fact that every possible outcome contradicts the rules. This discovery was groundbreaking, and even though these results have been found earlier, Russell is the one that published it and therefore is taking all the credits. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe, and until next time, we wish you a beautiful day.